Hello everybody, I am Benjamin Magnus, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the save game crashes you might be experiencing with Hearts of Iron 3 Black Ice mod. Now, this is just what happens to work for me. There are more things out there that could solve uh, game crash issues, but in particular for me, this is what I do, and this is what's worked for me. The first thing to know is that for some reason, there seems to be some sort of conflict between manual saves and auto save. So you're going to want to pick one or the other. If you want, if you like auto saves, pick auto saves, pick like every month or something like that and stick to it. Don't do any manual savings. If you like manual saving, just completely disable auto saves and just manually save whenever you feel the need to. So that's lesson number one, manual saves or auto saves never use both. And that is something you can change in game in the options. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you limit the number of save files you store in your your documents. So what you're going to need to do is navigate to the fo folder where they are stored, your save file. Now, in all on all systems and all operating systems, well, on Windows machines, at least uh, on all operating systems, it's going to be in your documents. So what you're going to need to do and I'm I just installed Windows 10, not thrilled with it because I'm still learning where everything is. But what you're going to want to do is go to your documents folder. And this is how to do this is exactly where it is on Windows 10, if you are using a different operating system, it's going to be a little different. So you're going to go to documents and you're going to scroll down until you find do do do. Where is it? Uh, Paradox Interactive. So you're going to go to your documents. You're going to go to Paradox Interactive. You're going to go to Hearts of Iron 3. And then you're going to open up this folder right here, Black Ice. This is where it's stored. So Black Ice, that, this is what you're looking for. And you can see it right up here. So you're going to go to your PC, Documents, Paradox Interactive, Hearts of Iron 3, then Black Ice. And what you're going to do is go to Save Saved Games, and you're going to want to keep a limited number in here. I What I do is I sort it by date modified, so that when the, the, the save was actually created, and I just keep the three most recent. I would not suggest keeping very many save files. I usually only have two or three. So any, you know, any of the old ones, go through and delete them. And when you create more, make sure before you start the game back up, you go through and you delete those extra save files, these old, those older ones. The next thing you're going to want to do is delete the log files for the Black Ice mod. So again, it's the same thing. You're going to go to Documents, Paradox Interactive, Hearts of Iron 3, and you're going to open up Black Ice again, and you're going to go to Logs right here. Now, there should be 11 files. And what you're going to do is just control A and delete. You're going to delete all of them. And you don't necessarily need to erase them from your recycling bin if you are nervous about, you know, save, you know, accidentally deleting the, the wrong save game. But you do want to do this every single time you launch the game. Every time you go to launch the game, you're going to want to go in to this black ice folder right here in your documents. You're going to go to the logs. You're going to delete all of them because every time you launch the game, it's going to create a new set of logs. And you're also going to go to your save games and you're going to make sure you only keep two or three in here. So that's it, folks. It's pretty simple. It's just a couple maintenance related things that you should do every single time you launch the game. And I'm going to go over it real quick. Just make sure that you have manual saves or auto saves, not both. Limit your number of save files to two or three and delete your logs before you launch the game. And that should clear up any issues. Ever since I started doing this, I've not suffered a single game crash when I tried to save the game. So I hope this works for you guys. Enjoy. 